Hello, my name is Mr. Harmon. Welcome to Mr. Harmon's class. Today, I'd you. like to how to make a multiplication chart. This is for students who are having troubles remembering their multiplication tables. It happens to all of us. I'm a certified elementary teacher in the state of Texas. This is one of the techniques that we show the students on how to help them multiply while they're taking a Teach test. The students to make, make a multiplication chart using grid paper. And here's how we do it. We begin with the X up in this corner. That will mean the times symbol. We start with zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll just go to twelve. Oh, now we're going to go down in this column, the same numbers. I'm going to begin with zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's how we begin. Now, we're going to do a row of zeros here and zeros going down. The reason we do this is to show the power of zero. Students have to know this when they learn how to divide. So we put zeros here, zero all the way across. and down. Well, now we repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And again, down also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. We begin with the even ones because the students already know these. They're easy. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And remember, we're, all we're doing is adding. Multiplication is repeated adding. I'm just adding the numbers. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Four, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, those are the even numbers, the twos. Now, uh, another row of numbers in, that the students already know are the fives. We can count by fives. Here's 5, 10, the next one's 15, and so on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Now I'm going to go the same way, do the same thing with the fives going this way. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay, now, we did the twos, and we've done the fives. Now, let's go to the tens. Most of the students know those already also. 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have 10, 20, here's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Now, I'm going to go down here and do the same thing across. 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Remember, I'm adding 10 each time. All right? Now we come to the other numbers. We've done the easy ones first. Threes. Now I'm going to just add a 3 each time. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27 is 30, 33, and 36. Now I go back to my three over here, my threes, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. All we're doing is adding those numbers. 
Now, we go to the fours. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is 12. 12 plus four is 16. 16 and four, 20. 24. 28. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 36. 40. 44. 48. That's the fours. Now we go to the fours over here. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 20 plus 4, 24. 24 plus 4, 28. 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Now let's do the sixes. Now we're, remember, all we got to do is add these a six to these numbers. 24 plus 6 is 30. 30 plus 6 is 36. 36 plus 6 is 42. 42 plus 6 is 48. 48 plus 6 is 54. 60, 54 plus 6 is 60, 60 plus 6 is 66, and then 72. And we go to the other 6 here. We can just copy these same numbers going across this way. Here I stopped at 36. The next number is 42, 48, and I can just copy from this next one, 54, 60, 66, 72. All right, now let's do the 7s. 35 plus 7 is 42. 42 plus 7 is 49. Uh, 49 plus 7 is 56. 56 plus 7 is 63. 63 plus 7 is 70. 77. 84. Now 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84. 8, 56, now we got 8s, 56, 48 plus 8 is 54, 64 plus 8 is 72, 72 plus 8 is 80, 80 plus 8 is 88, and 88 plus 8 is a 96. Copy the same numbers over here, 72, 80, 88, 96. Now we're coming down with 9s here, 63 plus 9 is 72, uh, 72 plus 9 is 81, 81 plus 9 is 90, 90 plus 9 is 99, and then 108. We've got 90, 99, 108. Now we go over here to 11. 99 plus 11 is 110. Uh, 110 plus 11 is 121. And then 121 plus 11 is 2132. And then we got 121, 132. 132 plus 12 is 144. Now we have our chart complete. This is our multiplication chart that we can use now to multiply. Now let's give an a problem, for example. And this is just simple uh, one number multiplications. Let's say 9 times 8. All right. So I go, I look over here. Here's 9 and here's 8. 9 times 8 is 72. Now let's do another one called 6 times 9. Go all the way down here where they meet, and that's 54. 54. Now we can do division with this also. Let's say we've got uh, 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4. 12 is the dividend. 4 is the divisor. This is red, 12 divided by 4. So I find my 12 and the 4. Find the two numbers together. Here they are right here, 12 and 4. So I know that 12 divided by 4 is 3. And that's how that multiplication chart for elementary math students. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I'd really like to know what you think. See you next time.